on a repointing job and the mortar we're going to be using is a lime mortar. So I'm going to show you how I like to mix up my 3.5 NHL lime to match the existing brickwork on this old rustic building. A few things we're going to need before we start mixing up our lime mortar. Ideally, you really want some form of mixer. At the moment, I'm using a bell mixer. This just helps combine all of the materials we're going to be putting in. The materials we're going to be putting in is our 3.5 NHL lime, some yellow building sand and some sharp sand okay the sharp sand adds some aggregate and makes the mix overall a lot stronger regarding ppe some equipment i recommend a really decent mask because we're going to be using lime and it is quite aggressive especially if it gets into your lungs and for that reason we're also using some gloves i'm using these ansel gloves they're waterproof and also therefore dust proof just to just to protect our hands while dealing with this chemical getting into the mix itself it's going to be a three to one mix meaning it's going to be one part 3.5 nhl lime and then three parts other so that will be two parts sand and one part sharp sand so making your three to one mix to make sure you get the right ratio i'm just using a gorilla tub right here and i've put a little mark on the inside of the gorilla tub so i'll be able to put my two parts building sand up to that mark my one part sharp sand up to that mark and then my one part uh, nhl 3.5 lime up to that mark and that will make sure that we have the perfect ratio before we bang it all into the mixer so i'm gonna do that right now Right, there we go. So we've got our material, the three to one mix in the mixer. Now you'll see from the video that I added my sand and sharp sand first to get them combining. Then I threw in the NHL and then on top of that, I threw the last sand. If you throw in all of your aggregates first and then your lime, it won't mix as good. Now I'm gonna leave this mix in just like that dry for about 10 minutes and then we'll slowly start adding water but only a little bit and i'll go over how much water we need to add in to make the perfect mix in a bit we're gonna start adding in our water so the interesting thing about lime you add a little bit of water to it and it just continues to get wetter and wetter. So we're gonna add water really slowly and let it continue to mix while we do so. Maybe about that much water from a bucket. I'm just gonna let that mix for about five minutes on its own. And then we're gonna come back to it once it's mixed and then we'll see if we need to add even more water, but we probably won't need to. This has been mixing now for about five minutes or so, and it's just starting to boil up, okay? So we need to add a bit more water to combine it because it's not quite combining as we want it to. It's just all boiling up. So a little bit more water into this mix, and then we should have it right in about another five or 10 minutes. We've added no more water to this mix and as you can see it's all combined and it's kind of falling and folding into each other which is what we want so if i grab a little bit of this now the perfect mix should be able to stay together and make somewhat of a snowball just like that and if i throw that on my hawk and smear it down that's the consistency we want. A bit like thick pancake batter. And that is now ready to start going in the wall.
mix totally done I'm gonna start getting this in the wall something really good about lime for you DIYers out there you can leave this in the mixer all day all night because it doesn't go off it takes ages and ages to go off so um, if it starts raining let's say and you've made a load don't bin it just keep it airtight throw a tiny bit of water on it and you'll be able to come back to it in a few days time even a week's time as long as you keep it airtight it'll only go off once it's been applied into the brickwork and actually starts drying and curing because of the air surrounding it so there we go that is how i like to make a 3.5 nhl lime mortar mix for repointing if you want it a bit wetter, you can use it for bricklaying as well if you're doing some brick replacements. Anyway, if you guys like these sort of short videos, make sure to give me a thumbs up, comment down below. If you've got any questions, I'll get back to everyone. And if you want a list of materials we're using and some of the PPE, the mask and the gloves, the Ansel gloves, links will be in the description if you want to use them yourselves. Anyway, we'll catch you guys in the next one.